Sergeant Steve Hammond with the Cobb County Police Department. I've been with the department for 12 years now. I'm currently assigned to Precinct 3 Evening Watch as a shift sergeant. So prior to coming to the Cobb County Police Department, I, I worked as a paramedic in Cobb County and South Fulton County. I brought those skills along with me as a paramedic and an EMS instructor uh, to, to the Cobb County Police Department. In 2013, uh, we developed a program along with Chief Josh Taylor from the Cobb County Fire Department for that started out as a self-aid, buddy aid type program uh, for patrol officers to be able to render aid to themselves. We quickly realized that this program could also transfer or be used to treat the same types of injuries uh, with the public. So we started to, as we taught this, we emphasized that it could be used on the public. So all of our police recruits go through two, three sets of iterations for uh, medical training. Uh, all police recruits receive CPR training. They also receive the emergency medical responder or the old first responder training. And then they receive tactical first aid and rescue task force training. During active shooter training, uh, we train and practice rescue task force. This is the ability for police and fire to integrate and provide care at the point of wounding. This way we're getting care to those injured victims quickly uh, and more quickly than we would if we just carried them out to a casualty collection point. So overall for our program, uh, we're running an 81% save rate. That's 150 saves uh, with the deployments of our tactical first aid system. Four of those are officers within the department or other departments, uh, but 146 of those are members of the public. Those are people that police officers went out, they saw them in need, they saw them as a human being that needed assistance, and our officers went out and provided that aid to save those lives. So for the year, for the current year, uh, we have 19 saves, we're running a 90% save rate. Uh, obviously those numbers will go up as the year progresses. So with our tactical first aid program, it's not just limited to gunshots or stab wounds. Uh, we do have victims in automobile collisions, motorcycle collisions that need that same type of aid. We have to stop that bleeding. Our goal is to keep those red blood cells in the body uh, so that the person can live. Uh, without those red blood cells, they're, they're not gonna live. So our, our quick action, applying those tourniquets quickly, applying those chest seals to prevent the, the tension pneumothorax from, or the air collapsed lung from forming. Those are our goals with that. So this program has been supported from the highest levels, from the chief of police all the way down. It is a very near and dear program to the chief uh, and something that, that is important for the department and the community.